What's up, everyone? It's another week, and welcome back to the garden. So, for our project today, we will be transplanting our philodendron squamiferum. Let's begin. All right, so again, welcome back to the garden. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe for more DIY projects and gardening tips. All right, so without further ado, let me bring in our beautiful plant, the Philodendron squamiferum. So what we'll do is to uproot this and uh, you know remove the oiled soil. All right, so there you go. Uh, let's start loosening up this hardened soil. Uh, it's been a couple of days that I haven't you know, watered this. And um, it's in a clay or a terracotta pot which you know easily releases moisture. So just be careful when you try to uproot the plant and uh, try to go around it so that you know you can loosen up all this soil. You can wiggle it a bit and then you know start loosening up and digging it up so that you can remove the plant from the existing medium. So I'm struggling here because it's really dry. I'm going to the other side so it will be easier. Alright so just hang on there plant you'll be happy later okay almost there right so let's go around a little more okay I'm trying to be careful here because I'm exerting too much effort and I don't want to break the pot in the process okay just a little more almost there there you go all right, so yeah, I think we're, we're getting it there. So just support the plant from its main stem and then make sure that you don't cut the root. Okay, dig deeper to get that root ball. Okay, there we have it, almost there. Just a few more. Okay, and I think we got it. All right, so just one more snap and if it's entangled then you can just cut the root okay there so if you've noticed the root is already dry because again I haven't watered this for a couple of days now but it will be better and look there's a new root that's about to come out all right so let's put it aside and then what we'll do now is to uh, remove all of this dry soil so it appears to be clay um, and then look it has been so dry and starts to clump which is not really ideal for aeroids and so what we'll do is to remove this one and uh, replace it with the other medium so let me just take it one by one and then okay there you go I have to really shove it and exert more effort to loosen this very very dry soil all right Hey, look what I found it's an entangled earthworm inside the pot so it's alone in there uh, I'll put it on my compost so yeah it took me a while to really 
get the entire um, dry soil from this um, old you know medium okay so there I removed um, the extra soil and then there's a you know broken piece of pot which we'll be putting on our on top of the hole so that we don't lose the um, medium that we'll be putting in All right so let's put in the new medium this is made of rice hull um, cocoa peat and cocoa fiber and a little bit of dirt so it's more airy and um, ideal for our um, aeroid so we're halfway through now and um, just get your plant and then place it in the middle just like that okay so there you go and then put more of the medium okay apologize for the dog but you know we can't control them if they're barking so all right there you go put as well on the other side and make sure that it's nice and compact so just fill it in just like that okay make sure all the way around is being filled with this new medium so pat it and you know make sure that it's compact so um, the plant remains sturdy at the middle so just like that and I think we're all set now so there you have it guys we've successfully transplanted our philodendron squamifera all right so here it is so if again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe for more diy projects and gardening tips thank you so much for tuning in today have a great day bye for now see you again at the garden by next week